So as we all know, Terraria has an NPC called the Mechanic. She sells basic stuff, wiring, wire cutters, that allow you to do some pretty simple but cool things in your world. For example, arenas, use statues, or even use teleporters. But even then, I feel like wiring has so much more potential. I mean, guys, you have games like Minecraft where they have the same simple mechanics, and yet people make insane contraptions that you just don't really see in Terraria. So why don't we have that? in Terraria. It's possible, but these builds just need to be discovered and created. So today I'm gonna learn everything I can about wiring and I'm gonna try to make the best machine I can and hopefully discover and invent something that's never been seen before in Terraria. In each of the tools that'll be placing wires, there's also a wire cutter which allows you to remove wires. Oh, I'm still recording? Um, you guys aren't supposed to see this. <laughs> guys, first, I gotta study. I gotta make sure I know the basics, okay? We're gonna look at some videos to just get a better understanding of wiring in general before I go create, like, the mega project. I mean, how am I gonna invent when I don't even know the basics, dude? So first, I went and checked what other people were making to check, like, the limitations. And I gotta say, I was kind of wrong. People are making some crazy things. Inside of the game for very but none of them are really practical. None of them are really made in like vanilla worlds. It's all just giant computer, weird CPU type things, which are really cool. But I think when it's my turn, I'm definitely gonna make something more practical or just kind of like more fun. So pretty early on, I came across an item called the water pump, which really kind of like intrigued me because I've always seen it, but I've never made one before. The fact that you can literally teleport liquids and mass amounts, I had to make something with it, you know? So I started experimenting with it. I had an idea in mind and I started experimenting to see if that would be possible yo we're getting somewhere okay so it works so theoretically i should be able to make what i'm what i'm thinking about making but first i still wanted to test a few other things out before i got into anything the first thing i wanted to test involves these statues right here the king and queen statue which if you didn't know it teleports a male npc and a female npc teleports a male npc and a female npc a male npc a male npc <laughs> So the first thing I wanted to know was, is there some sort of limitation to how many you can spawn at once? Or can you just spawn them all at once? If you have an infinite amount of these statues. Bro, that's not even my fault. So after obtaining that knowledge, I tried to make like some sort of organizing NPC machine or something. That was the idea where I could like actuate the bottom blocks and drop them down depending on what NPC it was. But I, I just ended up giving up on that whole idea. And during that night, I tried to make some sort of eyeball capturing machine, which is like the eyeballs AIs. I didn't come up with anything yet. So after that failure, I went to go do my original idea involving the water pumps. All right, guys, I made something, but I'm not, I'm not sure if it's going to work. And I can only use it once. So I hope it doesn't break. All right, here we go. Oh. Um, this is a problem. Dang it. Um, so yeah, this box was supposed to be made and then the water is supposed to be pumped out. Uh, so I'd have like a place to live, but, um, it, they didn't work. They didn't pump the water. So the yellow goes here, goes up here, goes over here, gets activated from this pressure plate. And then it's supposed to release the water up here. Um, oh, bro. The pressure plate, it wasn't connected, bro. Okay. So as simple as this seems, we ran into more issues and I had to test, I had to go through the trials and tribulations of this. The problem was I needed the water to constantly pump out and suck, but with the pressure plate, it would only pump out part of the water and then stop. So I added a one second timer, but the one second timer would just turn on for one second and then turn off. So we had the same problem again and I just had to keep testing. Eventually the problem ended up being the type of dart trap I was using. I don't know how, like how does that make any sense, but I think we got it. Okay, we're boxed up. And the water's draining. Let's go. This is actually pretty sick. <laughs> Alright, so I've been crafting up, boys. I, I got something here. You ready? I don't I don't think you guys are ready. Boom! A working water fountain. Uh, it doesn't look exactly how I thought it would, but that's fine. It takes the water from down here, puts it up there, and just keeps reusing it. Uh, so I, I've created something. Damn. That thing is pretty cool. Oh, that needs to not be on. I like to call it the uh, human extractinator. Oh, hell no. You know, we all know about the extractinator and the chlorophyte extractinator. But now, the NPC extractinator. 
Let me show you what this bad boy can do. Just get rid of those guys real fast. I, no, actually, let's, let's return them. Okay. This basically lets you shuffle through NPCs and lets you uh decide which ones you want to keep and which ones you don't. So, simply turn on this to spawn dude NPCs or this to spawn female NPCs. And then you could use this lever to change the direction and save them or this one to kill them. But you're probably wondering like, bro, why would you do this? Like, that's kind of cool, but that, you know, it doesn't really serve any purpose. Well, that's where you're wrong, okay? So why would I want to kill NPCs? Well, it has a lot to do with how the queen statue and the king statues work. So every time they're activated, it spawns a random female or male NPC. But what if you only want one NPC, like the nurse or the guide? You can't really decide which one you want. You're just going to get a random one. If you make an NPC extractinator and kill every NPC except the one you want, then basically the statue only teleports the NPCs you want. <laughs> you serious? It will allow me to make a machine where I could teleport to the nurse or like the dryad exactly where I want and when I want them there. All right, so I'm in an arena where I can just like teleport NPCs to me wherever I want and whenever I want. So now we have to cycle through and only get uh, the Dryad. Because if you don't know, the Dryad actually like gives you eight defense or something like that, which is near you. Now we just got to cycle through everyone. Hey. All right, sorry. There I'm you dying. go. Uh, I'm so sorry. Hey. What? She came back. Dude, no, thank you. <laughs> uh, so goofy, man. I don't know if they're even dying because of the nurse. I hope so. No offense. Ooh. I'm gonna need that defense. I'm just killing them at this point. Thank you. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, there. Oh, that's not good. I don't know, bro. Why are they dropping? Come on, Dryad. Stay with me. Oh, come on, Dryad. You go we got this. Where are you going? Come back. This is your fight, too. All right, I'm definitely gonna need the Dryad here. Okay, yeah, there's definitely no point to have that. Um, so I went back to watching videos to try to get more inspiration after uh, my failed attempts, you could say. And I came across the logic sensor, or just sensors in general, which are pretty amazing. I mean, with these things, you don't actually need like a direct input. It'll just detect a change in either the time of day, the players nearby, if there's water, if there's honey. So I went ahead and made some, and they're crafted using like the weirdest materials ever. Um, I don't know what that's about. Before we get into that, let me show you a machine that I've created. Okay, so I've crafted a machine. Uh, let me show you guys how it works. First, you gotta step up here. Go ahead and grab your acorn and just toss it right inside of there. Oh, go ahead, throw your acorn in there. As you can see, there's a pressure plate right there and a squirrel statue. Go ahead and activate that squirrel statue. It's gonna go for the acorn. It All right, tip number two. Drop the acorn in there, activate the switch. He goes for the acorn, drops a mechanic into lava. Oh, buddy, you gotta stop pressing that. You gotta stop pressing that. Yo, guys, guys, relax. This was not supposed to happen. Can I turn it off? Huh? Wait, if I fly away, if I fly away. Okay, they despawned. No one got hurt, except the mechanic. Hey, whoa! Relax, guys. Y'all some killers, bro. So then I tried to make some sort of prison using logic sensors to detect when you're close to the wall and it'll trap you in. I wonder if I could grapple out. Oh, that was close. Ugh. Oh, damn. Grapple and dash? Nope. All right, well, uh, I'm gonna call it successful then. I thought maybe that would help. I didn't. Actually, now I can use the momentum of the storm. And... Uh, no. Okay, so I think I realized I actually need a plan before I build. Like, I keep making these random contraptions without a clear image of what I want to make. So, I'm going to set a goal. I want to make one of the Mario pipes, okay? From the game. But I don't want it to be, like, noticeable. I don't want it to look like you could teleport anywhere with it. I want it to be fully functional, just like the ones in the game. And I want it to look good. All right, I, uh, I got something. Not suspicious at all. You know, just a tube. All right, bro, I, I could do better than this. A few minutes later. Um, yeah, this actually doesn't go anywhere. And there was no skeleton in here. I think, I think it's pretty cool. If you're wondering, I just use like an activation sensor right here. So when you press against the thing, boom, you teleported. And at the same time, there's actuator blocks on the teleporter. So you normally can't see it before using it. I think it's pretty cool. 
All right, let's try to make something um actually like practical and useful. The plan is to make a life root farm where every day and night cycle it'll automatically go off harvest all the loot gather it all then i'll use conveyor belts in whatever method i can to get it all the way to my base so basically every day i'm just getting life roots and uh it's important that i test something real fast we actuate the blocks beneath the plantera ball is that spawn plantera okay so it does Bro, like, relax off of my chair. Okay, so what I'm wondering is, can you teleport items? Is that a thing? Let's try it. I'm guessing it's a no, because I've never seen anyone do it. But really, I got no idea. Throw some of those down. All right, throw some of those. And to hit the lever, I literally have to pick them up. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and retry it. Here we go. Bro, they don't. Oh. So the only way to get these items to my base is um making a conveyor belt all the way from here to there. Side of it a mob even more annoying than soul eaters and their crimson variants bro what you looking at what you looking at pal oh my god of course of course the corrupted desert bro why am i doing this don't mind me just passing through you know what nah we're stopping right here this is a perfect spot it's right where my pylons at yeah, so it was right below my pylon, so I get to teleport here. So, uh, might as well, bro. I can't go through that desert. Also, you're probably wondering, like, how are you going to make the items go vertically? I think there's some sort of, like, item elevator for that, which I'm going to have to learn how to do. So, before getting any life fruit, we've already managed to get a plant terra bulb in our farm. Uh, that's great. Oh, damn, app. Oh, plant terra, what? Oh, my God. I didn't mean to activate that. All right, I just got to let them kill me, I guess. All right, I might be an idiot, but I'm using... Hi, how are you? I might be an idiot. I'm using these dart traps because I don't know how to make this any other way. All right, so let me show you guys how this works. Basically, where this pressure plate is, is where the day sensor is going to be. Once I hit this, it's going to send this dart. Boom, it hits it. Everything appears, which shoots this dart, which goes and hits a pressure plate, which shoots another dart and hits this and then deactivates it. Well, let me actually fix this too because it's supposed to be... It's supposed to be on constantly. You click it. Bro, did this kid just hit my thing? You click it. This dude has messed the whole thing up. Oh my god. So I think if we just replace this with like a night sensor or, or a day sensor, that should work. So 90% of us know about this like hoink, hoink teleporting thing. But I think I heard it works on items. But I don't know how to get an item into this machine. Okay, see it. If we just drop an item. You're, you're a fucking idiot. No. I, I might have done it. I'm not sure. Let's see. Just drop something in there. Oh. I did it. Bro, but this takes so long to make. Oh my gosh. Guys, look. Okay, we would have to do all this from right here to all the way up there. And I'm dead again. No, I'm actually a genius for making this though. Like I've seen this before, but I, I never knew how to like really make one. And I don't think this is even how people make it. I think I just like invented my own way of making it. So I accidentally triggered the farm and all the vegetation and like the one life fruit I got weren't there anymore. But we had to test it with the daylight sensor. So I just threw a bunch of random items on there. And uh, then I went to bed. All right, sleeping time. Oh, it worked. All right, go down, go down. You see all the items here. And it, it reset too. Look at that. Look at them traveling. Oh my, why are there so many bats? You guys don't understand how many times I've died making this. And guys, I did not make the elevator. It would just take so long. Psych! You know we had to make it. I can't believe you guys got me making this whole thing, bro. All right, so we just turned daytime. So let's go ahead and turn this on. And we should just be getting loot here soon. I mean, it's going to take a while. Also, I did break the daylight sensor for like a couple days. So hopefully there's actually like some loot from this. Hopefully I had time to grow. Oh! Oh, bruh. Is that it? Seriously? Yo, maybe they're getting stuck, though. I'm, I'm gonna reset this. Party girl, it, you need to stop shooting your confetti, bro. This ain't a time to celebrate, okay? Oh! Wait, no! Yes, shoot your confetti! Let's go! Three? Yo, we got three, too. Bro, I literally just... I, I just sat here and I did nothing. Bro, we can literally just sit here and get life roots. Without touching a button. Wait. What? What's that? Um, nah, I'm just kidding. All right, guys, I think it's time we actually put together, like, everything we learned and make one large contraption. 
All right, let me show y'all what I made. It is in the ocean. All right, I just had a jump cut. Uh, the lights are messed up. Doesn't matter. Not the point. You walk in. Doors locked behind you. Water starts draining. Better drain quick, bro. I'm about to drown. Once it's done draining, uh, you'll see what happens. Once it knows the water is all drained, the door will open. Um... So the lights are... Oh, there's... Oh. So head over here. You walk into this room. Not much to see here until uh, you grab your penguin buddy, okay? You walk over here and you place him in there. Door opens. What could be down here? You drop down. Kill the penguin and... Mario? Here we go! 